All right, Amit, uh, yes, you can come up with the question that you have. All right. Okay, so I was also, I can also tell you about the operators. So we have various numerous operators in Java. We have the equal to operator. We have the negation, subtraction, addition, modulus, multiplication and all. I think uh, this, these operators might be clear to everyone. If not, what I can do is I can just do a, do a multiplication for all of you here, which I can do x, I say x cross 5 here. All right. I do a x into 5 and I just uh, place the value of z here. So let's see how the multiplication operator works here. So here I have the value 25 because 5 cross 5 is 25. Now I also want to know from you all here, what is the value of this particular operator? If I do a x modulus 5, what should be the value of this variable z at this particular point of time? Can you quickly write it onto the chat window? What should be the value if I use a modulus operator here? So I need responses from everyone. If I do a modulus operator, what should be the output here? So I'll do it for you here. I do a run as, I do a run as Java application. And here the value of z comes out to be 0. And the reason why it is doing so is, what a modulus operator does is, it actually divides the value with the value that I'm using as an operator here. Suppose I'm doing it 5 modulus 5. So it will show up the remainder. That's correct, Neha. It, it will show up the remainder value. So 5 divided by 5 remainder is 0. So it will show up the remainder value, which is 0. That's correct. All right. So they, we have also the various relational operators, which are used to compare two values. I have already used these relational operators. So I don't think I'll be actually covering them again. So binary operators and their operators are numeric expressions. Then we have the various logical operators, the AND AND operator and the AND OR operator. So I think we can also take a look at these operators. I have already taken a look at the AND AND operator. So let's take a look at the OR operator here. If I say here, if I say if x is greater than or equal to 5 and what I do here is I place an OR operator and I say since I know z is equal to 0 and I say z is less than 0, alright, I'm not putting an equal to here, okay, here I want to print out, say, sys out, I say inside the OR condition, I, when I say inside the OR condition, it means I'm actually checking for this first value, and if this first value is correct, I should go into the condition. If I check for the second value, if even this value is correct, I'll go into the condition. If both the value is correct, then also I'll be going into the condition. It is like any, any particular condition which matches the criteria and I should actually run the complete code inside it. And it says inside the OR condition, which is very much like a normal Java, which is a normal coding practice. Amit has asked me about a ternary operator, which is the caret symbol. So what a caret symbol does here, uh, Amit, is it actually gives you a logical XOR of these operations. So a, a, a caret symbol is the XOR operation that you can expect out of it. So if I try to say X XOR 5, all right, if I do that and if I value, assess out the value of say Z here, so it will be doing an XOR operation. So for XOR operation, you have to convert that into binary and see the results. So for the time being, I'll just run it for you and I think you can see the value of 5 because 5 XOR 5 is actually 0, all right? So this is how the ternary operator works, Amit. All right, so this is uh, the operators that we have. Now let's also talk about the static context. So the static variables are the ones that can be shared across all the objects of the class. But remember, there is only one copy of the variable that is available to anyone. And the non-static variables are not shared, they, are the separate, they have a separate copy. 
for each individual live object. So this is the difference between a static and a non-static variable. So static variables cannot be declared within a method. So let's see if we can declare static methods within a variable, within a method. So here, as I told you, this public static void main is a method to me, right? Now what if I try to create this particular integer variable into static, right? If I say static int x equal to 5, and you see an error here, right? What is this error telling me? It says remove the invalid invalid modifier. That means I cannot place a static modifier inside the method here. So how should I go about placing a static modifier? What I can do is I can do it at the class level. I say static int x equal to 5 and now I'm good to go. This is very much like a global variable that I can use in my application. But it is not exactly a global variable too. If I create create another class here. I say I call it a second class here. Once I call it a second class and I do a finish here, what I can do is I can also utilize the variable. I say I'll just do a sys out here. All right, since it does not have a public static void main. So if I uh, want to have access of this particular variable x in my second class, what I need to do is I just need to write the class name here. I say example class dot x and I can also hold this particular variable into another variable which says say int xyz. So whenever you are using static variables in any of the classes, all right. So in order to gain access of the static variable in other classes, what you need to do is you need to have the class name, then you need to have the dot operator and you need to have the variable name. So this is how the static contexts work. So it is just a single instance that is managed throughout the application. So if I talk about int x equal to 5 and if I'm making changes to the variable x, it will be reflected in throughout the application, irrespective of the place that I'm making the change in. I hope everybody understands the static context here. Everybody knows the static context now. So I ha here I have told you static context. Then we have statements and blocks. Any any doubts? Any person having any doubts here with the static context? <coughs> 